Okay, um, <clears throat> section 11.2, areas of circles and sectors. Uh, we all know the formula for area of a circle, and if you don't, now you do. Um, area of a circle is pi times r squared, where r is the radius of the circle. Let's try one. Find the indicated measure. So if we're trying to find area, and we know the radius is 2.5 centimeters, so area equals pi r squared. So grab your calculator and calculate it. Hold on a sec. My calculator was put away. So let's see, I have pi times 2.5 squared. My area is 19.6 centimeters squared. Area is always going to be in units squared. Volume is cubed. Length is just whatever unit it is. Okay, find the indicated measure. Here we're given the area, and they want to find they want us to find diameter. So pi r squared. We know area. One thirteen point one pi r squared. If I'm trying to solve for diameter, I really want to figure out what my radius is because diameter is twice the radius. So radius is 113.1 divided by pi. Radius is 36.0. That's the radius squared. Square root of both sides, your radius is 6. Pretty simple. Okay, now let's look at the sector. Um, sector. A sector of a circle, I always thought of it as a piece of pizza. Um, the sector of a circle is the region bound by two radii of the circle and their intercepted arc. Um, in the diagram below, I have sector APB is bounded by lines AP and BP, which are both radius, they're the radii of the circle, um, and arc. A, B. So this is like a piece of pizza, or pie, or pizza pie. Um, theorem 11.3 gives the method for finding the area of a sector. This is a ratio just like when we were finding lengths of arcs in section 11.1. Um, so area of sector over pi r squared, which is the area of the circle. So area of sector over area circle equals measure of the arc in degrees over the total circle in degrees. So this is what um, I use most of all. If they're just asking for area of sector, it's already solved for you here. But because sometimes they ask for either the radius or the measurement of the arc, etc., you can go back to this equation um, and just solve for what you're trying to solve for. So um, find the areas of the sectors formed by angle UTV. So we're actually going to try to find the area of two sectors. First, let's find the area of the pink one, which would be, um, well, let's just call it the pink one. First, let's deal with pink. So we have area of the sector over pi r squared equals measurement of the arc over 360. Little um, mini lesson here. I'm just going to cross product, cross multiply these. So over here I get the measurement of the arc times pi r squared equals area of the sector times 360. If I always use this as a base equation, then I can just pick and choose what I want to solve for. So in this case, we're solving for the area of the sector. So I can divide both sides by 360 and have it there. Just plug in everything that you know. Like the measurement of the arc is 70 degrees. The radius is 8. That'll give us the area of the sector. 70 times pi times 64, which is 8 squared, all divided by 360. 
Okay, so the area of the sector is 39.1, and I don't have any measurements here, so units squared. Okay, let's try the blue one. Um, after that cross multiplication, I would get area of sector times 360, and on this side I would have measurement of the arc times pi r squared. Um, on this one, the measurement of the arc is your whole circle minus the little arc. I'm going to plug that in here because I know that one. 290 pi r squared equals area of the sector. And actually, I forgot to divide both sides by 360 over here. It cancels those out. Okay, let's calculate. 290 times pi times 64, which is r squared, divide by 360. And the area of the sector is 161.96. We're going to do 97 equals area of your sector. I've gotten some questions. People are wondering what to round to um, sector. The book doesn't tell you. So whenever I've done the homework, I'm always rounding to the 10th. The book is rounding to the 100th. But if it doesn't tell you, use your best judgment and always show your work. If you always show your work, you'll be great. Um, with this one, I got 161.9665. I already written the one, so I didn't want to do 162. Um, so I just added another um, decimal for accuracy or laziness whatever you want. <laughs> All right, you try. So I'm going to push pause, find the area of the entire circle. Okay, it's going to take a few steps, but I know you guys can do it. That was an easy one. Okay, let's move on. I know it's going to get harder. Now let's find the area of the red sector. Okay, push pause and try on your own. Okay, there we go. And the next slide is going to ask us for the area of the blue sector. Surprise, surprise. Hey, area blue sector. A um, little uh, trick here. This arc is 120 degrees, so this arc is 240 degrees. Okay, go for it. There we go. Area of the blue sector. All right, moving on. So now we are um, using a diagram to find area, but we don't know the radius. Okay, all I know is the area of the sector, but I can use that to find the radius. So hold on a second. We have um, area of sector. I'm going back to the original equation over pi r squared equals the measurement of the arc over 360. And again, I'm going to do the cross product. I've got measurement of the arc times pi r squared equals area of the sector times 360. I'm trying to solve for the radius, so I'm going to divide both sides by the measurement of the arc and pi. Measurement of the arc and pi. And that leaves me the radius. And I know it's the radius squared, but that's easy to fix, right? Radius squared, area of the sector, times 360, all over the measurement of the arc, times pi. Area of the sector is 35. Measurement of the arc is 40. Calculator, 35 times 360, divide by 40, divide by pi. I got 
point three. Square root of both sides. Ten point zero one or ten point zero meters. Pretty cool. Um, I think the next page, you go back to the question. We're ask, actually asking for the area of the whole circle. And once we know the radius, we can do that. So area equals pi r squared. And oh, dude, I had r squared right here. So <laughs> I didn't have to take the square root of both sides. Pi r squared, 314 meters squared. Okay, not too bad. And I'm actually going to do this problem one more time, so um, bear with me, but it's an important lesson, so hold on a second. So that picture's a little, a little messy because I cut it from the last page, but um, there's another way to deal with this. So we're trying to find the area of the sector. Um, TVU. Sorry, we're trying to find the area of circle V, which is the whole circle. Okay, we already know the area of this sector, right? Um, so we can do a little bit of adding and subtracting. Alright, so I know the area of sector TVU, the little one. And that's over pi r squared, which is really your area of your circle. And that's equal to the measurement of the arc over 360. So this right here is what we're trying to solve for, which is sort of a dumb moment that it's really a lot easier, the problem's a lot easier than I was making it out to be. But we went through the work and it does make sense. So I'm going to cross multiply down. So area of the sector times 360 equals area of the circle times the measurement of the arc. Divide both sides by the measurement of the arc. And I have the area of the circle. So 35 times 360 over 40. Let's see if we get the same answer. 315. Awesome. All right, a rectangular wall has an entrance cut into it. You want to paint the wall. To the nearest square foot, what is the area of the region you need to paint? Okay. Um, Actually, I'm going to move this little picture to the next slide so that we can work on it. So, hold on a second. So this really does make sense. The area of the wall is going to be the area of the rectangle minus the um, semicircle and the square. So let's do the area of the rectangle because that's an easy one. Area of the, oops, <laughs> the area of the rectangle is base times height. 36 times 16 plus 10 is 26. Thirty-six times twenty-six. All right, area of square. Another easy one. It's sixteen times sixteen. Cool. Now the area of the semicircle. Okay. I've got area of the sector. equals pi r squared times the measurement of the arc over 360. Pi r squared, the radius is 4, times the measurement of the arc, it's a half a circle, semicircle, so 180 over 360. Pi times 16 times 0.5, which is 180 divided by 360. 
the area of the sector is 25.1. So I've got this number, which is important, that number, and this number. So the area of the wall is the rectangle minus the square plus, sorry, the area of the semicircle. Let's put those in the right order. Hopes to not confuse anyone. Semicircle plus square. I got 654.9, which is not an option. 936 was correct. My area of my semicircle is not right. Oh, duh. Oh my gosh, guys, I hope you laugh at me. Um, the radius is half a 16, which is 8. <laughs> so let's fix that. Pi times 8 squared times 180 divide by 360. 100.5. 100.5. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. 936 minus 100.5 plus 256. 579.5. Much better. Okay, if you go back, that is actually option C. Phew. Silly mistakes. Okay, you try. I'm pushing pause. Find the area of the whole circle. Okay, there's your area of the circle. Okay, find the area of the figure. Reminder, area of a triangle is one half base times height. Okay, go ahead and try it. Find the area of the semicircle and add it to the area of the triangle. Uh, the figure's area is 43.7. Check out the work and um, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, last one. If you know the area and the radius of a sector of a circle, how can you find the measure of the intercepted arc? Um, explain. Okay, explaining would be using your equation. Area of the sector over area of the circle. Pi r squared measurement of the arc over 360. So it says we know the area and the radius of a sector. So I've got the area of the sector. The radius will give me the area of the circle. Um, to find the measure of the intercepted arc, I would just multiply both sides by 360. Okay, and that would give me the measurement of the arc. Daily homework quiz, three pages. One, two, three. This one looks like fun. Okay, go ahead and try them.